All right, loading up the Pokemans. Loading up the Pokemans. Here we go. Here we go. Poking of the Mons. Gotta catch my daily Pokemon. It's my drug. My drug, folks. This is my daily drugs. This is this is the thing that's keeping me mentally sane. For like, I mean, look at look at look at my freaking wall. I've had that up there since I've been in since like 1996 or something like that. I'm gonna get that Trico. Oh, I caught a shiny Trico a while back. Let's see. Let's do a curveball. Really give it to him. I'm such a lousy aim. <laughs> My phone screen's a bit cracked, so I can't really do it as smoothly. Day one of the next week. Wonderful. Gonna do this every day, man. It's like my life now. Pretty good defense, but Trico isn't really known for its defense too much. So I'll just let it go. See you later, Treeks. Trico. Oh, I gotta wait a second, because there's like... I gotta claim my my weekly spoils. Okay, my eggs are doing well. I just gotta wait for everything to come in. Oh crap, I forgot my item bag is way full. Actually, let's check that out. Wow, that's like a hundred a hundred above. Twenty max revives. Not bad. But I would prefer regular revives, because max revives, I've been entrained to believe that they're oh there it is. I've been entrained to believe that, um, hold on, let me get these, <laughs> that they only come, like, once in a while. Like, they, they, you never get a max revive ever in-game, unless if you pick it up. You know, if, if anybody, obviously you Pokemon fans play the mainline games. See, I can't get any gifts for so long. Like, I want to supply the sugar to my children but alas i need like oh god i'm almost like almost three upgrades ahead of what my max limit is i don't know what i'm gonna do like and i don't want to i don't want to erase items i think what i'm gonna end up doing is i'm gonna have to leave the house catch buttload of pokemans just to burn away at the pokeballs and then hopefully get some revives do some battling but like i got a lot of max potions i got a lot of max revives I'm set for like the next for just like a huge binge 50 raspberries. That's really cool Maybe I should start using using up some of my raspberries. Maybe I could feed Charmander You know, I could feed my little buddy my little buddy little dragon little dragon thing probably do that later I'll just give him a No, I don't want to do that. Oh my face went away. All right. Well anyways I'll leave it at that, and I'll see you all in the next video. Catch them all. Okay, let's do our daily Pokemon. It's Monday, I think. No, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, here we go. Can I get my second Pokemon of the day? Of the week, I mean, sorry. Second Pokemon of the week. Let's see what it is. Any minute now. It's going to show up any minute now. Hey, a little skitty. Okay. Let's catch this skitty. Skitty, skitty, skitty. Here you go, cat. It'll catch it. This is green lit. Boom. Alrighty. There we go. That's day two, folks. I will see you next time on the next day. Not gonna do too much. Ciao. Oh, I got a gift, but I, I can't do the gift right now. I walked a lot of miles. Let me see if I actually, real quick, check my eggies. Okay, my eggies still got some time. I'll check tomorrow. You guys have a good day. Happy Tuesday. Got to do my drugs, my daily drugs. This is my this is my leisure kind of. My hair is a mess. I look like a I look like the Grinch here with the curls. The Irish curls going. Here we go. We're going to play some Pokemans. And uh, don't drive and play Pokemans. If it's going to be a Pokemon that I don't want just yet. Ew, a, a Turtwig. Nice. Dragon thing found a candy. Thank you, Mr. Charmander. There you go. 
I'm gonna give it one of these. Oh, he's a feisty one. He's a feisty one. I'm going in for the wind-up. Oh, he jumps around. Hopefully that's the next. Oh, oh he's gonna run away. He ran away. God damn it, I gotta leave the house. Oh, God damn it, I gotta leave the house. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Son of a bitch. That goddamn turtwig didn't want to go anywhere. I should have used a raspberry. I got like 50 of them. I'm kicking myself right now. Come on. Come on. We got to go to the next door neighbor's house. Hopefully I don't get shot in the face. It is a minor inconvenience that I got to walk like 20 feet this way when the turtwig should just be mine already. I'm entitled. Damn it, it's a finion. I don't think I caught a finion yet. Here, let me check my Pokedex. I'm gonna get it mugged. I swear to God. And go missing. And it's all because Turtwig couldn't be mine. Uh, finion, 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 finion. I forget what number he is. I know he's Sinnoh. I know he's fourth gen. I'm gonna have to keep going. I can't see in front of me because the, the light on this phone screen is too bright. I don't even think I could use the flashlight simultaneously with this. Okay, a combi. Do I have a combi? If I don't have a combi, I swear to God. I swear to God. I don't have many Sinnoh Pokemon. Yeah, I don't think I have a combi. Damn it. Gonna have to keep going. That's it. I have to keep going. Now, can you get Palkia in this game or Dialga? Wait a minute. I haven't seen Arceus in this as like a, whatchamacallit, a raid thing. Like, are they saving Dialga and Palkia, Giratina and Arceus, you know, like for a future game? Hell if I know. No, I should have done this last night while I was insomniatic. But I, I was hoping that I could get to bed early and cure my insomnia. All these bright screens in front of my face, you know. <sighs> I'm walking in the middle of darkness and I cannot see in front of me. All four my daily Pokemans. <laughs> I'm gonna pronounce that wrong every time just to piss people off. I don't even know if I'm walking on the right side of the street. Hopefully a Wendigo doesn't come and kill me. I don't know if that's something that's here locally, but it is a mild concern. It'd be cool to see a Wendigo Pokemon. Okay, a Weedle. Thank God for Weedle. I've never said that before, but thank God for Weedle. I'm using this raspberry. I don't care. I need to go home. <laughs> Never been so thankful for a Weedle. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm running out of battery. I'm gonna die out here. <laughs> the fucking Weedle. The fucking Weedle. What the hell? Are you kidding me? God damn it. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. I... Oh, God. I can't see in front of me. Wish I had a knock towel with me to use foresight or something like that or a hoot hoot. You know how they are. Being able to detect ghost types. That was such an innovative move and a great mechanic in the anime. Not just Gen 2, but the anime itself. It was like, what? There's like a counterbalance for like, for like ghost types with normal types? That is unheard of, folks. Oh. Oh, silver lining. Got my eggy. What? A Galarian Meows. Holy shit, and it's got a it's got a big pee pee. Wow, a steel type meows. I'm gonna incubate that. Whew. I'm still sugarless. I'm running out of eggs. I'm freezing. I mean, it's good to have definitive seasons. I don't want summer to end. <sighs> I'd like to live in subtropical paradise. Like the Alola region. <laughs> 
or the Sevi Islands or the Orange Islands, which let's be honest here, the entire seventh generation was there to just completely erase the Orange Island, the Orange Island saga, the Orange League. I can't talk straight because I'm too cold. You ever try to talk when you're cold <laughs> and your mouth just freezes up? I have. This is where. Okay, I think I have a ladybug. This is all because I do the lucky egg thing. Because I want to get that double XP for catching new Pokemon. You know, registering new Pokemon in your decks. Okay. Okay. Alright. Here we go. I'm like... Okay, curveball, great. Throw. Why am I still using Pokeballs? At this point I should be using great... or er, Ultra Balls. Great or Ultra Balls. Okay. Three day streak. I thought that would take two seconds. <laughs> like I was gonna one and done. Just have one Pokemon caught in one minute. No, no, of course we can't have that. Let's see. That's yeah, average. It's all good. Well, on my walk back. I'm gonna say something that might be an unpopular opinion, and this is kind of ironic, but at first I really liked having a phone game, like Pokemon being a phone game for Android or iOS, and also Pokemon Let's Go was a jam. It's not gonna age well. I think it's gonna be, like you can only recycle the same story so many times. That's one thing. But another thing is that, oh man, I'm really cold. When it comes to catching Pokemon, it's like, it's starting to feel like sports fishermen. Like, I feel like a poke fisherman. You know, like, like an NPC, basically. Where Pokemon just becomes a catch and release game. Like, that's not what made Pokemon famous. And I get it, you know, like, I would say, you know, if you want to get a deep dive into the Pokemon Adventure series, you know, there's a catcher, there's a breeder, there's a battler, there's a, you know, they, they, um... The lineage of the first and second generation uh, trainers that all come together in that one combined. That, that was a cool, like, anything after first and second gen for the Pokemon Adventure series, it didn't really do much for me because it became less about the original characters and more about, you know, just continuing the franchise. And I'm pretty sure that the creators of said franchise didn't really, uh, didn't really intend on it lasting that long. But I will say, to go back to Pokemon Go as a mechanic. That's not, I don't think that's why Pokemon became popular. I think it's just because, uh, just Pokemon in general, for me at least, was, uh, you catch a Pokemon, even though it's like a digital form of, uh, it's like a, you know, just a digital pocket monster. For some reason, I feel so attached and sentimental of, like, my first Typhlosion, or, like, my first Blaziken, or my first Charizard, you know? It's a special moment, and I think, you know, just catching it and then throwing it away. It's like, no, that's not what the anime is about. That's not what... Do you think Ash, like, has Pikachu and he's like, Oh, I'll just throw him away and get a better one or breed Pikachu 40,000 times until I get a perfect one? And it makes me think that it conditions us IRL trainers into... Um, yeah, screw you, combi. You're worthless to me. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the attitude that people have. It's like, oh, whew, we scoff at like lower tier Pokemon. <laughs> Who needs them? <laughs> it's probably a male combi. But it's like, when did we all become like Paul? You remember Paul? Like, not like Ash Ketchum, you know? Like, we all wanted to be the very best like no one ever was. All that, you know, generic bullcrap you see in any parody video out there on the internet. But we've we've come from that, that like, cute, spunky, yeah, I'm gonna be the best, yeah, screw you guys, to, like, Paul, you're worthless, you scum. I'm just gonna toss you aside to the fodder. And that's kind of what Pokemon Go is kind of set up to do, you know? We, we just catch Pokemon and release them if they're worthless. And I sometimes wonder subconsciously, is that a way to condition us to do that with how we interact with people online? Where 
we have high status friends, you know, with a high social credit score, you know, in accordance to mm. social media law. And then the friend that you've known since kindergarten isn't your friend anymore because you don't meet those requirements. Or you don't meet that expectation or social credit score, whatever you want to call it, the stats. The Pokemon attack, defense, HP, speed, you know, and specials in accordance to what this trainer is looking for as a friend. I could talk about online dating too, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that talk about that. And I'm going to catch this not to because, by golly, I'm going to catch this not to. I could have just waited like 20 minutes. But I suppose I wouldn't have had that walk, now would I? I probably would have fled anyways. Nah, I'm gonna use Pokeballs. Ah, you dick. Get in the ball! <laughs> but see, like, I'm gonna catch it, I'm gonna judge it, and it's gonna be like, oh, it's a, oh, it's, it's just a, a one star. I, I'm not gonna need this. See, it's not even any stars, and it's like, but it's a living creature. This, this would completely destroy the whole Pokemon Go mechanic. But if there was a way to catch a Pokemon and just be like, you can, if you do one bajillion steps, you can give it like a golden bottle cap and it'll max out its stats automatically. Or something like that. That would be a cool mechanic. And you could keep the sentimentality of the Pokemon. Or you could do special event uh, Pokemon and you could have them max statted. Because I've been walking around with my Charmander, the first Charmander I caught, actually. Because it's the first Charmander I caught in the game. Why would I get rid of it? It's the first Pokemon I got. And you see, what happens here and here, nobody seems to care about anymore. Because we've become less about the heart center, more about the mind center. And although being mind centered is important for understanding things, doesn't it, we lose our humanity in a way and just like that pokemon goes away and you get a free candy is that what a pokemon is worth is that what a living being a soul a spirit something with that infinity energy has to offer is just a little candy to power up maybe a po better pokemon that comes along I don't know, folks. It's kind of shallow. And uh, I think I'll leave it at that. Catch them all, boys and girls. Catch them all. Okay, I'm going to do my daily Pokemon. See if I can get away for it to load. Do my daily Pokemon. Ooh, a little Eevee. Little Eevee. Let me get you. Okay. Get this. I just went to the dentist office. Do I look clean? Does it, does it look clean? <laughs> I don't know. I like to think I'm beautiful. Well, this Eevee's feisty, man. Hope it's got a good stat count to it. Alright, alright. That was easier to catch, so maybe it's not that good statted. Board. Appraisal. Yeah, it's okay. Nothing to sniff at. Or bark. But I got my four-day streak. Yeah. Yeah. My items are still way overinflated. I got my four days, so I'll see you next time in the next video. Okay? All right. See you later. Doodly-doo-doo-doo. Doodly-doo-doo-doo. Everybody wants to be a master. <laughs> doodly do do do. Doodly do do do. Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to show their skills.
Everybody wants to take it there faster, make no way to the top of the hill. <laughs> so Jesse and James, ooh, an eggy. Let's see the eggy. But Jesse and James are going away. That sucks, man. I love Jesse and James. Been watching the new Pokemon anime, so like the season two of Pokemon Journeys. I'm almost done with it. Like, it only took like two days of me watching every episode, and I'm just sad. That is already over. <laughs> Alright, let's see this egg. Let's see it. Let's see it. What is it? It is another Galarian Meowth. Well, it's not bad. It's it's a... Can I evolve it? Wow, I can evolve it into a Persker. Galar isn't... 8th gen isn't open, so I don't understand. Oh well. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's catch my daily Pokemon. I'm not going to re-egg these until I am able to get... Until I'm able to get a, a 7k or lower. 5k is fine. 7k is fine. 2k, it's not ideal, but... You know, I think tomorrow I'm going to show up to uh, a gym and burn up all of my resources. Dragon thing found a candy. Wonderful. Um, I do not want to repeat the same thing I did last time. So I'm going to play it safe, and I'm going to curveball raspberry combo. Hopefully Chikorita doesn't flee. Thank God. <laughs> God forbid Chikorita flees. Flees. Fledzes. Sounds like Chikorita has fleas. No, you don't have fleas. Look at that leaf. Look at that leaf. Too bad I gotta get rid of you. Make room for... Make room for the rest of the Pokemon. Oh, man. That sounds so shallow, man. Oh, well. It's gotta be done. I gotta make room. <laughs> all right. Well, that's day five of this week. And I hope I see you all in the next video. And, um... See you later, everybody. Catch them all, I guess. So, as of right now, I am currently resting my back... And uh, I'm going to catch my daily Pokemans. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Go for like issuing a Pokemon wherever you first spawn in in the game every day. So you don't miss your daily fix, your daily uh, getting, getting of the Pokemons. Man, I really want to fight Jesse and James before they go. Sad to see them leave. Hopefully they come back one day. I'm gonna see the okay see that rocket balloon I know it's a it's a grunt it's not a grunt it's a team rocket admin and I can't beat them I've tried well anyways I'm gonna catch this execute <laughs> I really tried to catch it or uh, beat them but I just keep burning through revives and it's just sad here I'm gonna use a raspberry because I got tons of them Make it easier on myself. There we go. Whoa, that was a one shot. Nice. <laughs> Six days. Nice. Six days. That was a one click, one shot. And it's not really that good, but it's extra large, whatever that means. So, let me transfer that. And that's my daily thing. All right. See you later. Catch them all. Here we are going to catch some Pokemans. Haven't really left the house in a good while. I've just kind of laid low because of the COVIDs for like the past two weeks. It's like been two weeks at this point and I really need to do something a bit more adventurous, but it's getting colder out. And I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Anyways, let's catch our daily Pokemon. Let's get our seventh. Ooh, Javulpix. Ooh, Javulpix. Wait, I think I have one. There's Vulpix. Yeah, right up here. A little Vulpix. See? That's OG right there. That's 1996 artwork. I don't know if it's that early, actually, because I know that the... Uh, uh, the aesthetic of the Pokemons changed. At least in Gen 1, it changed once it 
uh, became watercolored and anime, animeified. I'm like failing while I'm trying to talk. God damn, god damn, that, okay. Hopefully I catch this thing. Otherwise this is going to be embarrassing. I got a Vulpix right here. Little Vulpix, okay. That was, a, that was my good luck charm. Seven days. 7k experience. Look at that little guy. Okay. Not very good, but hey. I caught it. <laughs> I caught it today and I got my seven day streak. Um, let's recap on my uh, successes. That's been updated. Pretty good standing. Still at level 30. Not in any rush to go anywhere anytime soon. Wow, I caught... 3,200. 3,200 Pokemon. I can't imagine. I can't even fathom a thousand, to be honest with you. Like, it's been years. It's been years since I've started. Like, it, there's got to be some, like, minimum amount of Pokemon that you catch or that'll just max your level out, you know, automatically without having to do any other stuff outside of it. But I'm assuming it's probably something along the lines of, you know, maybe like 5,000. You know, 10,000? I'm not sure. But, hey, you know, got my daily Pokemon. That's all I care about. <laughs> all right, well, it's been a good week. Even though it's been getting colder, I'm still going strong. Hopefully we get a couple more warm days until everything gets cold and miserable. But until then, I'm going to keep catching them all. And I suggest you guys do the same. All right, folks, I'll see you in the next video. Catch them all.